everyone, I'm Jess. I'm currently unemployed. I make videos about engineering, science, and conservation. And today I'm in beautiful Romania. It's actually kind of crazy. When I got here and the entire week that I've been here, I felt like Romania is almost exactly like Canada. There's so much beautiful nature that is untouched and the people are so nice. It just really reminds me of Canada. So why am I here? I'm currently traveling with the Balkan River Defense Team and we're kind of on a Balkan River tour, uh, which is why we're in Romania. What the Balkan River Defense is trying to do, what we're trying to do here, is we're talking to the local people and really on site, the rivers, hiking the rivers, and looking at the semi-illegal damming projects that are going on. Yeah, we're going to the to see a dam now. It's like apparently it was under construction and then they ran out of money, so um, they stopped building it and it's just like a giant half-built dam in the middle of nowhere. The water go in the tunnel, so here you don't have turbine, it's adduction. Uh, all the water for the river is take it, go in the mountains in this tunnel, and the tunnel arrive in the Siriu Lake, another dam. So basically, this will be just like water supply for yes, yes, for another dam, for another dam, and it's not allowed to make something like this. So in few words, they try to collect all the water from Buscamare River to make. They already made a pipe system, who's guiding all the water to. Siriu Lake. So there will not be dam. Not, there will not be a dam here. Only just pipes to to take the water to the Siriu River. So this is a park, national park, Natura 2000 is called. And I understood that from European laws does not allow any more pipe systems in order to take the water to other dams. They start the constructions many years ago. It was a very old project, but they stopped a few years ago the construction area because they don't have enough money to finish. Did you ever try contacting Brussels or trying to, I don't know, go uh, yeah, straight? Yeah, yeah, we tried. Also with the River, and we tried to also send the letters, official letters to European community, but we don't have any help. And, uh, we try to manage everything here in, inside our country. We need help for outside, but for the moment we don't have it. And I think it's normal to have it. We are in the European community and we are part of this. It's not right here in Romania to be this kind of the construction, illegal construction, and nobody from European community to come to say it's not allowed. It's not right, in my opinion. We believe in the nature, we want to keep the nature. I love the river, you see the river because you travel near to the river, it's beautiful, the nature here is incredible, it's wild, it's full of animals and full of fish, the river is full of fish and if this river disappears, all the ecosystem is destroyed and it's bad, it's bad. So we are just about to enter the office of the mayor of Kurateki and we also try to talk to him about the development of this valley and hopefully he agrees that there should no dams be built. Sara Rushit and Rob, maybe you tell another story for another country who has success to stop this kind of project. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, there is. Maybe we should tell him that there is almost 3,000 dams planted in the Balkans. In the moment of the face, in the Balkans, there are about 3,000 barrages. And mostly they are small dams and they don't provide much electricity and they are just a way to make money for people. The majority of the barrages are not big barrages. So this is kind of a myth that I wanted to talk to you about today, which is you know, is damming a renewable energy? Is hydropower a renewable energy? Is it sustainable? And I think you can actually look at every single one of our renewable energies, wind power, solar power, you know, hydropower, tidal power, how renewable 
renewable are they? From the surface you think maybe, yeah, these are super renewable energies, but this small little river behind me, if it's dammed, will only give a little bit amount of energy, but it loses the entire ecological value. All of the, there's, apparently this is the most bare populated region in all of Romania, which is kind of crazy. So we're not leaving any food in our tents or anything. But yeah, the bears will come, they'll drink the water. Right now we're fly fishing, we're kayaking the river. The locals here, they rely on fish from the river and they don't want their river dammed for this small amount of energy that's not even going to go to them. For, so from that perspective, is it really renewable? From my opinion, I don't think so. Now I'm not saying, I know I'm kind of biased because I'm a kayaker and I'm not saying, oh, we should destroy all dams. I'm just saying that we need to make smarter, scientifically informed decisions about what we're gonna do with our natural resources for energy. We need to consider ecology. We need to consider the local community. Who is the energy going to? Is it worth it to dam a hundred small rivers or one big river? These are all scientific and engineering questions that really need to be taken into consideration. And unfortunately, it's not reality. It's not what's happening. It's definitely not what's happening here in Romania. And it's just kind of sad. People just completely agree with hydropower without being informed. And I just want to challenge you guys today to think about things with your own mindset, with your own scientific lens. And don't just listen to people because your professors, whatever, just because they say so. You know, now you're getting your own degrees. Use your brain. <laughs> that's my best advice for you. Use your brain and enjoy the nature. So that's it guys. Tomorrow we're gonna be hosting a bunch of school students and taking them on the river. And then Saturday we're gonna be doing a large river cleanup with the locals. So if you wanna see more, then please remember to subscribe. If you have any questions, or you want to engage in a friendly debate in the comment section, then please comment below. And yeah, I think this is the kind of topic that we can all learn from each other. So thanks so much for watching.